giant two and a half ton pistachio colored tank driving through the streets of Boston. Uh, people do tend to notice us. Uh, a lot of times when they see us, they like to quack at us. I just personally think it's only polite to quack back, right guys? We don't want to sound unprofessional here though, so I'm going to give you guys a cue. When I say game on, I want to hear all of you guys go quack, quack. Ready to practice here? Let's give it a shot. Game on! couple of you there that were so good at that you didn't even move your lips <laughs> that was me. okay here's the thing the people on the sidewalks these other ducks you will never see them again okay don't be shy we'll start off with this building here on your left a gray building there's a small circular window out front uh, a tan and gray cupola up at the very top uh, this was once the old charles street jail now, about 150 years after it's built, city officials will go inside, find that it is filthy, dirty, huge rats inside, overcrowded with inmates. Uh, it is so bad that they actually condemn it. They'll find it unfit for any human to live inside there. They're going to close it down and relocate elsewhere in the city. However, by then, it is a historic landmark, which means they can't tear it down, do anything to the exterior. Uh, would any of you guys like to spend the night at the old Charles Street Jail? Uh, they've actually completely renovated the inside. They have now turned it into a four-star luxury hotel. Uh, now, sticking with the jail theme inside of the hotel, you guys, they call it the Liberty Hotel. Uh, inside, you're going to find a restaurant called Scampo, as well as two bars called...